What's up, ESM? Welcome back to your favorite anchor pair. I'm Luke. And I'm John. And that's all we really have to talk about right now, so let's get on to news. In news this morning, the 72nd Emmy Awards were, yeah, the ceremony was originally meant to be held at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the ceremony was held at the Staples Center, and the winners were actually speaking from their own homes. The awards were hosted by Jimmy Kimmel, an American television host. During the night, Watchmen, Schitt's Creek, and Succession won many awards for their outstanding performances. During the speeches, there were a lot of powerful messages being sent to the public. Many winners talked about BML, for example, Anthony and Durso stated, this isn't what it should have been, but black stories, black performances, and black lives matter. In other news, SUNY Oswego and Upstate New York College is shutting down in-person learning for two weeks due to a recent spike in coronavirus cases. On Friday, there were 82 cases of coronavirus at the college. SUNY Oswego is expected to reopen for in-person learning on October 5th. A Syracuse man is battling for his life after being shot in a multi-unit apartment complex yesterday afternoon at 105 Herkimer Street. More info on the case is soon to be released. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, Luke, how has corona affected you personally? Well, I've stayed home a lot, and it's, I've had a very hard time doing schoolwork. It's not easy when you're at home. Uh, and that's why I'm here, and not online. What about you, John? That's fair. Um, well, I don't know what happened, but sometime during corona, this, like, thing popped out of my head and it just kept growing. I don't really know where it came from. Yeah, I had some, but, I had some long hair too, but I cut it because I uh, didn't want to go down your path. Well, I went to the barber, but then he saw all my hair and just ran away. Mm. So that, it makes it difficult to get a haircut when your barber is afraid of your hair. Well, that's pretty interesting, except it's not, but let's get on to weather. Sunshine on highs near 70 degrees. Wednesday and Thursday should be, should have highs, okay, there it is. <laughs> Wednesday and Thursday should have highs in the 70s and Friday with an increase in the highs, in the, in the high of 70, sorry. Over the weekend we will have highs near 80 degrees and possibly a few showers. And I'm Grayson with your weather. So, we have to wear masks, right? Yeah. Yeah, and masks are no fun, right? Eh, I don't, they don't bother me that much. It covers up my nose, so. I don't like my mask because it covers up my pretty face. But, yeah. you know, the fun part about wearing masks is I've been making faces at the camera this entire time, and nobody can see it because I have a mask on. And I don't have to smile, so that's good. That's true. That's <laughs> always helpful. Well, let's get on to sports. Sports. The Las Vegas Raiders defeated the New Orleans Saints last night, 34-24. Uh, to 24. Quarterback Derek Carr threw for three touchdowns uh, for the win. Many notable players for the, many notable players in the NFL have been suffering very bad injuries, including Saquon Barkley and Nick Bosa, who have both suffered torn ACLs and are out for the season, and star running back Christian McCaffrey of the uh, Carolina Panthers, who is out for four to six weeks with an ankle injury. Michael Jordan and three-time Three-time uh, three Daytona 500 winner Denny Hamlin are, start, are forming a new NASCAR team. NBA legend Michael Jordan is trying his hand at another sport. In quote, he said, the opportunity to own my own racing team and partnering with my friend Denny Hamlin and to have Bubba Wallace driving is very exciting for me, uh, said Jordan. This team is set to compete in the NASCAR Cup Series next season. And I'm Luke with sports. Well, that's about all the time we have for you today, folks. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, I do, too. And I'm Luke. I'm John. And this has been The Morning Show. It has.